Hi, this is another edition of the Bell Video Blog. I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I want to talk about using premium fuel in your vehicle. Now, uh, premium fuel is something that a lot of people swear by. And we, we have to start off by saying that there are some cars where the manufacturer specifies to use premium fuel. And so, uh, if you're out there wondering, do you really need to use premium fuel in such a vehicle? The answer is always 100% yes. Uh, you know, as you know, Bell Performance manufactures fuel additives. We have made Mixago uh, gasoline added for a long time. And uh, we will get people every once in a while who will ask us if I use Mixago. Can I step back from premium fuel to regular fuel and save, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 cents a gallon? And uh, what we always tell them is we always recommend, just like with oil changes, we always recommend that you follow your manufacturer's instructions and recommendations for your vehicle. Now, we also say that we know a lot of examples of people in our customer base over the years who uh, have done exactly what they're proposing and a lot of them have told us that they get excellent results. So, uh, officially, we our position is always that you should uh, follow your manufacturer's uh, instructions. Um, some people think that if they use premium fuel in their vehicle, they will get better gas mileage. Well, is that true? Well, what's the difference between premium fuel and regular fuel? Well, uh, apart from the fact that premium fuel might contain different detergency, let's assume, for example, that the only difference between premium fuel and regular fuel is the octane level. Okay, um, Octane does not give you better gas mileage. What octane does uh, is uh, ensure that the fuel combusts properly inside the engine. If you uh, have seen or read, well, if you've read any of the blogs that we've done in the past, we did a blog explaining what Octane does. And we also did a video blog where our ASE master mechanic, James Dunst, uh, spent a few minutes talking about what exactly uh, Octane is. Premium fuel is going to uh, be a higher Octane fuel, let's say 91 Octane. Um, and how much benefit you're going to get depends entirely on how your car's engine is engineered. Now, uh, the, the biggest thing that influences the engineering of a, an engine relative to the amount of octane that's needed is the compression ratio. Um, oct uh, a, some engines need a higher octane fuel in order to slow the burn of the fuel to help the, the, the fuel combust at precisely the right time. Uh, you know, and by, by by precisely the right time, what we're talking about is when the the position of the piston relative to when the fuel is combusting. Uh, octane actually slows down combustion so that the the fuel does not uh, have any any what they call pre ignition. It does not ignite too early uh, before the piston is at top dead center position and able to give your car uh, uh, the maximum work. So. Uh, Despite the popular conception, um, using a higher octane fuel than your car needs does not give you any extra benefit. Now, sometimes this is confused by consumers with this idea of a car that actually needs higher octane fuel and somebody's been running it on fuel that, that where the octane is too low for that car. Um, let's say that in reality, uh, due to the condition inside the engine, there's some deposits in the combustion chamber or simply because of the compression ratio and the way it was designed uh, the car might actually need let's say 88 and a half octane and what we mean there is that it runs optimally in practice on 88 and a half octane um, but the, the 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 car's owner only runs it on 87 well that car is not going to run uh, as well as it could if that owner uh, sp spends you know the extra 10 15 cents per gallon and puts 89 octane fuel in there, then they will notice difference. They will not probably notice better mileage because their fuel is combusting at the right time. Um, they will probably notice better power because their fuel is combusting as it was designed to in that engine. However, if that 
car only needs 88 octane and they use a 91 octane or they find a 93 octane or they use one of those specialty uh, octane boosters you know, like the 103 or 105 or whatever they're called they're not going to get any extra benefit and that will mean that they are throwing their money down the drain so premium some cars need premium fuel pay attention to your car's owner's manual uh, for the recommendations on what you're supposed to do so thanks for joining me today. Uh, I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance. Uh, as always, we have two excellent websites that you can visit, www.bellperformance.com and our excellent educational website to answer questions like these, www.wefixfuel.com. Anyway, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.